have seen, I have this little office at the edge of my apartment. It's a two square meter room and I've been using it as my home office for the last year and a half since I moved into this apartment. Recently I've let it go and it's now looking filthy, messy, I kind of have an old setup. It's full of random stuff that shouldn't really be there, the wires are messy. I have a shelf with random stuff from when I built furniture that was just left over. Don't ask me how stuff gets left over when you build furniture. But all in all it's a pretty bad setup now these days. I started off by cleaning all of the stuff which was in the office to begin with. There was so much stuff on the shelves, on the desk as you can see. And I just collected so much stuff for the last year and a half. Up until now, the setup has been a Mac Mini, which I think is great. It's super powerful, good enough for all the stuff which I need to do, which is mainly coding and video editing, as well as some other random stuff that I do. For my work, my full-time job, I actually have a MacBook Air that's also powering this curved monitor from Samsung. And I was quite tired of this curved monitor because when you're coding and working in spreadsheets, for example, I don't think the curvature of the screen is super good. So I wanted to get a flat screen, which is also why I wanted to redo this whole thing. I'm keeping quite a lot of the stuff which I've been using up until now. For example, I have this secondary Dell monitor that I find pretty good. I have this boom mic from Audio Technica, which I also think is pretty good and don't really have a need to replace. So a lot of the stuff is actually going to be kept as is. Also, what I've done before is I've had horrible cable management. Below my desk is just been a trench of random cables, so I had to unwrap all of these, untangle them because they were a bloody mess. And I definitely want to do this better with a new set. After this, I had to do some cleaning. The desk itself was quite full of dust, as you saw in some of the other 4K shots. So I started off wiping down the desk as well as vacuuming the whole space because once you have, which in itself made quite a difference. I did get a new monitor, the Xiaomi 2K gaming monitor that is 27 inches, so it's slightly better resolution than the one I had before. The one I had was just full HD, which wasn't super good for text when you're doing code, etc. The monitor itself was super easy to assemble. It just came with this stand that you can adjust to lower it up and down, as well as this very sturdy foot that you put the whole thing on. It was quite heavy, but it seemed super solid when it was standing on the thing, and actually did come with quite a few ports at the back. So. I took all apart all this plastic velcro stuff, plugged it into the back with the stand and screwed on the foot. It also came with this really nice uh, little hole that you can use for cable management. So I could plug all the cables into the back of it where you can't really see them and then pull them through the hole to the back of the monitor which was super good compared to how I had it before. Then I got a Logitech Lytra Beam Premium which is kind of like a little key light that you can put behind your display in order to light up your face or your desk whenever you're streaming, recording videos etc. Up until now I haven't really had any lights or anything like that so this is going to be super useful and going to really improve the quality of the videos which I make for YouTube. I also got a set of relatively cheap desk speakers from Logitech. The screen that I had before had built-in speakers that weren't super good but they kind of worked and this new screen that I got now doesn't have any speakers at all so I have to get this little speaker set that I plugged in at the back and then I put my Dell old monitor in front of this kind of hiding the subwoofer which I think looks pretty good and then I arranged the cables at the back in order to avoid the whole mess which I had the last time around. The trusty old Mac mini went next to all of this which I think looked pretty good and then enjoyed this unsolicited picture of my crotch while I'm fixing all of these cables at the back. It's quite easy that it becomes a lot of cables when you have this much gear plugged into the one in the same place but I think I managed to fit it all in one place pretty nicely. I stuck the volume meter next to my desk height adjuster which I think looked pretty good and made it very functional. With all that, it was then time to set up what I was going to keep on the desk. So I pushed the desk next to the table and brought out the Logitech mat. This was actually something which was included when I bought the keyboard and the mouse, which you're going to see in the future. But it was a pretty nice addition of Logitech and it's going to look really good on the desk and stick with the whole grey, black kind of vibe that I have going on. Then they also included an MX palm rest for the keyboard, which I thought was very generous. So I unboxed that too, put that on the desk and then I moved on to the computer mouse that I got. The mouse is the Logitech Master 3S and damn is this smooth. It has a really nice ergonomic feel to it, it's got a little spinny wheel at the top which is quite fun to play with when you're bored. And also it clicks quite quietly which I don't really know why I need since I'm alone in this office but I added to the premium feel. Next up was the Logitech MX Mechanical Keyboard, the full sized version which I think is pretty nice since I do a little coding so I really like the number pad. It comes in three different switch types and I got the tactile quiet one which I think feels pretty nice but also it is an obnoxiously loud for if you want to stream or make videos which I do sometimes. I've always used Apple standard keyboards and wow did this sound nicer. I then added the Audio Technica boom mic and the headphones to the side of the table. 
I mounted a Philips Hue cable to the side of the wall using one of these little plastic things you can get from Ikea. And this prevented me from tripping over the wire for it getting all messy. And then I mounted a Philips Hue light at the back of the office, which is what will be behind me when I'm making videos, adding a nice little effect. I have a total of six different Philips Hue lights in this office, behind the desktop, in the ceiling, and then two light strips, which makes it super nice to be able to change the different colors, as well as change the intensity of the light for depending on the mood or the time which you're working. As a final touch, I added a scented candle as well as a reed diffuser because nothing says obnoxious colder as much as having a scented candle in your office. Never tried it before, but I think it added a very nice vibe to the office. All in all, that was it for my home office build. It was quite similar to what I had before, but I think the setup was much nicer. I really enjoyed the nicer screen as well as the nicer keyboard and mouse because before I've only been using Apple's default stuff. All in all, this extra stuff probably cost me $600, which I think is a pretty good investment considering how much time I actually spend in this office and how much more productive it can make you if you have good stuff. You'll be seeing plenty of me in this office making videos, streaming, doing coding, whatever. And if you like these videos, then please feel free to subscribe down below. It's completely free of charge. Leave a like down below if you like this office setup. What would you have changed? If you have any questions, leave them down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.